So this first logo design is going to be relatively simple and straightforward, but it does have some really useful techniques that you can use in the future if you want to further customise other logos. So the first thing we're going to do is to go up to the Insert tab and then along to Icons. And in here, I'm just going to design a logo for a garden centre. So I'm just going to type in plant. As you can see, there's lots of options for us. And I'm going to choose this one down at the bottom, click on the circle and just click insert. Now at the moment, let me just get rid of that. At the moment, it's a bit clunky. As you can see, if I try and pull this logo across, it won't move. So we can either go up to graphics format, down to wrap text and down to in front of text or right click on your icon go down to wrap text and go to in front of text and you can move it around wherever you like. So the next step is the text and in order that I can see the text below here accurately and move it around as, a, as I would do if I was making a logo I'm going to create a text box first. So again go up to insert, go along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box then click and drag Put in your text. And what I'm going to do now is format this text box because at the moment it's got a border and a background. So just make sure on shape format, go along to shape fill, click no fill, go along to this icon here and click no outline. Then all I'm going to do is go back to the Home tab and then I'm just going to centre that text. And now I'm going to want to change the font, so Command or Control A to highlight all of the font. Go up to the Home tab and again along to the Fonts. And I'm going to choose this font here called Andel Mono. And for this particular font I've actually stretched out the spacing between the characters. So if you right click, make sure your alt text is highlighted, right click, go down to font and then you'll find this dialog box will appear. If you go to advanced, go down to this spacing line here, click on the drop down and click expand and then if you just increase this to whatever size you want, there is a little preview down here and I think I increase mine to two and then just click OK. Then you can see the spaces between each character has increased. And then I'm just going to increase the size of that text. I'm going to go up to the increase font size. And what you just have to check out for here is just how this is going to look with the entire logo. If you make it too small, the plant here is going to be very big and you're not going to be able to see the text very well. So again I think I'm just going to increase that a bit more and then I can just move it around. The good thing about using these text boxes is you can just move everything around, it's really versatile whereas if you type you've got to use, keep using the space bar to move it around so I would advise that you just do it this way. I'm just going to create a second text box and I'm going to command or control C, command or control V to just copy it and then I'm going to put some other text in here. Command or Control A. And then I'm going to change the text, change the font. I'm going to choose this Brasilia one here. And I'm just going to reduce that font slightly because I don't want it to be bigger than the Land Love text above. Now if you find that your box doesn't move, again you need to deal with the wrapping. So right click, go down to wrap text and click in front or behind text, it doesn't matter. And then you'll be able to move this around. Now when you've put your two bits of text together you can see whether it works or it doesn't. Scroll in scroll out just to have a look. And I think that garden centre could be a little smaller, so just double click, Command and Control A. Just reduce that down just a little bit. Now 
it's really, really important that you get all your text formatted and customised to the, exactly the way you want it before you move on to the next step. Because once you've done the next step, you can't change it. So highlight all of your text. Command or Control C to copy. Click off the box. Go up to the Home tab. Go to Paste. Click on the drop down and select Paste as Picture. Now, if your paste as picture doesn't appear there, go down to paste special and it may well appear in this dialog box. So paste as picture. And now what you'll get is the text as a picture. So again, if I right click and go down to wrapping and then just click in front of text, if I now move this around, mm. I can then, as I stretch it, the whole text will stretch at the same time. Whereas a text box, if I stretch a text box, the text will stay the same size. So this is now a picture and we can save this. It's really important that you change it to a picture because you cannot save a text box and text in Word as a picture unless you paste it into a picture format. So once you've done that, we're just going to move that text box down. So don't get rid of that just yet, because if you have made a mistake, you can go back and just customise that and then just save it as a picture again. So we're going to do exactly the same with this one here. We're just going to highlight the text, copy it, Command or Control C, then click off the text box, go back up to paste, click on the drop down and select paste as picture. And again, we'll just move this text box down. So when you paste this, you'll see that it comes in quite a wide box and that's according to your margins of your page. And when we go and save this and then you use it on different applications, it can become a bit of a pain because it's quite a wide uh, picture. So what we need to do is just crop this. So select this box here, go up to picture format, go along to crop, and you'll see that the black lines appear. Then just drag the black lines in. It doesn't really matter where you where you put the black lines, just as long as you've got your text, because remember this is a picture, so it doesn't matter. And then just click enter. And again, if it doesn't move properly, it's the wrapping again. So again, go down to wrap text in front of text, and then you can move it wherever you need to. And again, with the garden center, let's crop that. Go back up to the crop tool, grab that middle one, drag it in, grab this middle one and then just move it up and then just press enter. Okay. So now we've got all of our text for our logo and what we need to do is line these up so they're completely centered. So if you click on the lower one, hold the command or control key down, click on the second one and click on the icon. Then go up to Graphics Format, along to Align, and down to Align to Center. And you can see everyone's, everything's almost lined up. Go up to Picture Format, go along to Align, and click Align to Center. And everything should align to the center. Now if it doesn't look quite right, and you feel things need nudging to the left or the right, then just go ahead and do so. It depends on how you've cropped your picture sometimes to how it will lie with the center alignment. Then zoom out, just have a look at your logo just to check you're happy with the way it's looking. And once you're happy, we'll get rid of these two boxes down here. And then what we're going to do is to highlight the bottom text, hold the command or control key down, select the next one and the next one, go up to graphics format, Go along to Group, click on the drop down and select Group. That means now you can move this round as one complete picture. However, now you need to save it so that this can be used in all types of different applications. And in order to do that, you need it to be a PNG file, which is something that doesn't have a background. So you just have the black text. So what I'm going to do, having experimented with this before, the best way to do this is to make this logo as big as possible on this page. To keep its ratio, you need to hold the shift key down whilst you drag out the corner.
So once you've made it as big as you can, right click, go down to save as picture. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. I'm going to call it logo. And the really important thing is that you have this PNG file underneath here. And as you can see, if you go down to save as type, you've got a drop down menu where you can select the different types of file that you want. Then just click save. And now we'll just make that a little smaller. And then we'll go ahead and see if it's worked. So insert, picture, picture from file, logo, insert. And as you can see, your logo comes in now as a picture. And you can, t right, if it's a little clunky, right click, go down to wrap text in front of text. Now you can move this around. And as you can see, it doesn't have a background because as I move it over the other logo, you can see through it. So now you can go ahead and stretch this out without it pixelating or reduce it down and you can use this on websites, social media, stationery, cards, etc, etc. So that's just a really simple black and white logo just to show you the basic techniques. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.